silly camera keeps crapping out here. Uh, a couple output tubes and yeah, some more tubes that might work in the helicopters and just some random stuff. But I also got these. Um, this looks to be Japanese. I'd actually really appreciate uh, any help trying to identify this. Um, this one and then this one here. This one looks to me to be Japanese. We have uh, Matsushita tubes. Um, looks like uh, King. Yeah. King in there. This one, Rubicon capacitor. Stand there. I'm gonna have to find a way to get this to stand up without hurting anything. Uh, not really finding anything for the numbers here, but Rubicon, King, Matsushita. Uh, IF cans uh, have IFT. That's uh, AM, FM, so you have FM, IFT there, a little bit of a bodge in here by the looks of things, but uh, I'm thinking maybe with what I have I could take a look and maybe get this going. Uh, one of the wires is come off the transformer here but there is enough of a stub just in there to connect her back up I think but uh, curious to know what this might be um, my, my first initial thought was Sony but um, like there's there's probably so many manufacturers that it really could have been this is not uh, this was from the box, but uh, these are all Let's take a look at This tube was in this spot when I got it the uh, this one was not I was just looking around and that was the only Other Japanese tube I was seeing like that I'm going the wrong way aren't I yet? Come on Don't you come? And this is tough to do with two hands. So that's a Shida. Uh, it looks like. Uh, where are we here? There. Careful thing. Uh, two uh, two twelve DT eights on that side. Uh, a lot of these weren't in here. I'm kind of just pretty much guessing these two sockets are a little bit different, but uh, guessing the IFs were the same here, and then not so sure about everything else. But um, yeah, curious about this one. Pretty sure Japanese. It's about all I know. Any help would be appreciated because then I could uh, look up some more information on it. Um, yeah, uh, King, Matsushita, and Rubicon. It'd be interesting to know what, the, how good that still is, considering it's a Rubicon, right? Let's take a look at the one I think is Canadian. Uh, we have a CSA approved, uh, union made. Uh, on here there is a FR-115. This is kind of, I don't know. We have, if I can again do this with one hand without hurting myself or something. Oh, we'll take a look in here first. We have a TCC PicoPack electrolytic. Uh, the, the big one is also a multi PicoPack TCC. Uh, England we have patent pending British made 
type 493 by, I don't know, British made, patent pending, TCC, okay. Aerovox. Uh, some of these, or all of these, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell on that one, but uh, made in Canada. So we got Canadian there, US here, US here. Um, CSA approved. Patent pending, but by who? Not really sure. But uh, this one we have a mechanic transformer on. Yeah, there's the, the TCC multi pico pack. RF one fifty six there. MC three oh one there. Um that's Marsland on the capacitor, variable cap, and 510 01, or 069 on the IF cans. 742226 and uh, MC307, MC135 and it's uh, yeah, six tubes, six miniature tubes, I think. Here's a look at the front. So, got uh, on off and volume. Um, I'm guessing one of these is tone and then one of these is something else. Uh, just looking at the wiring, I'm not quite sure. Um, and I think this is a switch for radio input. It's either input or output to this this guy. So I'm thinking either radio or external phono. So that's your phono switch and then your your tuning. So what I'd like to do with this one really is uh <laughs> to find out which which tubes need to go in here. So um that and yeah a lot of these caps are gonna have to be changed but I don't see any reason why this why I shouldn't take a look at this one um, and I don't really see a reason why I shouldn't really take a look at this one either uh, there's no cases or anything but that's what a shape oak is for um, so yeah if uh, anybody could give me any information about what these might be uh, I've done a little bit of research, but I guess uh, having some community help might uh, might help speed things up if anybody's interested in helping out. Uh, if there's anything I missed on here that would help you identify, uh, let me know, and uh, I could uh, I could go over it a little better. But um, curious about this. I am not quite sure on that one. Is that just uh, is that with the the tuning? Because that's going in with the the variable cap, in line with that. So it's just an extra coil for, or two coils maybe. Because you got one on the inside or coil capacitor together. I don't know what you got there. I don't know. But. Uh, not knowing is part of learning, so any help would be appreciated. I can't find any markings on here, and I'm guessing if there was going to be any, it's going to be on the underside, but even then, it should have been up here, right? But this one, I don't know. It uh, might be worth a look at. This one, not as much, but I'd still. it's got FM and all that, and... I mean, everything still kind of seems to be mostly there, and the tuning's all wired and still works, so might be worth a shot. 
they can build a little box for it and who knows uh this one who knows as well i mean got some tubes could give it a shot and see if some of these are bad but uh i could also really use a tube tester i'm gonna need a tube tester but yeah uh not too bad uh i i really didn't pay too much for any of this uh not much more than what one or two of these tubes is worth so at least for me to buy them here in canada so between shipping and getting one of these would be 20 or 30 bucks and i think i paid 40 for 40 for everything here and i was kind of interested in the if cans too so uh yeah that's where I'm at. If you guys could, or anybody could help me uh, identify any of this. Let's see if I can flip this over. Oh, killing the ferrite bar. Don't want to do that. Well, I think that's it. I'm going to stop my rambling for now. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Thank you.